uh, in the year 1914. Uh, at this point, the directors of the Sun Life building, which was actually uh, located in the banking district, so around St. Jacques Street, they decided to actually move uh, away from that area because they saw there was an economic, uh, a, uh, in croissance économique, there was a, uh, a boom going on. And so they decided to move north into an area that was a little bit less uh, developed, which is where we are right now. It was built in three stages. The first one was between 1914 and 1918. Uh, and that was where we saw the southwest portion of the building completed. So this portion right down here at the corners of, uh, Met of Metcalf and what is today René Lévesque. The 20s were very prosperous and so they went and built further north as well as further up. And so at that, this point we now have a 26-story tower uh, which is incredibly imposing for the time. Not only was it the tallest building in Canada, but it was also the biggest building in the entire a United Kingdom. If we then continue on uh, to later on into the Second World War, this building again saw a, uh, an important point, a point in its history because it served as a, uh, as a location where Great Britain would actually send a lot of its important documents that they, couldn't, they didn't want uh, to be affected by the Second World War. It was called uh, Operation Fish, so they actually decided to take all these important uh, documents, place them into these crates called labeled with fish, and ship them across the Atlantic as food rations. So, I mean, obviously no one would be suspicious of fish going across the Atlantic. And so they were placed into the safe room. Not this safe room though, because there was actually another one on the third basement floor. That one no longer exists because it was demolished to make room for the parking garage that exists below the building now. If we take a look at the safe here, we can notice just the sheer imposing mass that this is. Uh, if we go, we're just gonna take a quick look at this. Just the door itself is 30 uh, tons in, in, in weight, and this portion of the floor actually can go up and down to allow for this door to close. You can see the hinges are incredibly huge, and if you see on the sides, it's really just a safe that has been encapsulated in this room.